When people talk about homosexuality, they often ask, is it a choice? I heard it is. Hello, what's your name? Christian. Well, Christian, let's see what the latest science has to say. Oh, that. To help us, here are two gay people, George and Martha. Before we can answer, is it a choice, we must first determine what it means to be gay. How do you know you're a homosexual? The same way you know that you're straight. Since the 19th century, many theories about homosexuality have been offered that are untestable and contradictory. Male homosexuality is the result of an absent father and an overbearing mother. See ya. Stand up straight, dear. And the female homosexual has never recovered from her anger over not having the penis. She wishes to avenge her perceived castration by taking another female as her sexual object. You're kidding me, right? Well, I've always been told that homosexuality is unnatural. Is it? In fact, homosexual relations are common in nature, including zebras, baboons, dolphins, sheep, buffalo, ducks, foxes, elephants, horses, gorillas, moose, house cats, pigs, mice, rabbits, swans, and lions, to name a few. Well, okay, but we're not animals. Human beings have free will. You don't just decide who to love. <laughs> Settle down there, Martha. Christian does have a point. But let's take a look at the most recent scientific evidence. As they study sexual orientation, scientists are currently looking at three main areas. Genes, hormones, and birth order. Of course, most of these studies focus only on male sexuality. Sorry, Martha. What a shock. Let's first look at studies of identical oh. twins. Hi. When one identical twin is a gay man, the other twin is gay up to 70% of the time, far higher than would occur if genes played no role. In fact, these studies show that genes play a greater role in determining sexual orientation than they do in whether or not you're right or left-handed. And we don't punish the left-handed. Well, not anymore. Let's get it! Scientists have recently noticed a striking statistical phenomenon. Studies show that having older brothers increases the odds of a boy being homosexual. Moms always baby the youngest, making them gay. No, that's not it. When a woman is pregnant with a boy, scientists are realizing that her female body often sees the male fetus as a foreign object and begins to produce antibodies against it. The more boys a woman has, the more adept her body becomes at feminizing the fetus, which may explain why with every successive boy, the odds that he will be gay go up significantly. All right, maybe you all accept it, but what about those people who started out gay and say they became straight by discovering God? What about ex-gay ministries? Even so-called ex-gay ministries don't claim to change a person's inner sexual desires just his or her sexual conduct. We're still gay. If these places really work, why don't they all use the same technique? Why does each ministry experiment its own way? Well... And why have so many members and leaders recanted earlier claims that they were changed? <laughs> Maybe these programs don't work for everyone, but what's the harm? How about the feelings of shame and guilt they instill and reinforce in their victims? Or the money, energy, and time they sap from people who have nothing wrong with them. Says you. <laughs> well, in point of fact, not just George says that, Christian. The American Medical Association, the American Psychiatric Association, the American Psychological Association, the American Psychoanalytic Association, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the National Association of Social Workers have all stated that homosexuality should not be treated as a mental disorder, and that they oppose attempts at reparative or conversion therapy, and that sexual orientation is not a choice and cannot be changed. So that's it. I'm supposed to believe that it's not a choice just because all those doctors and scientists say so? Or you could just ask us. I do know this one girl named Heather who goes back and forth, but she's Shut a... up. The information in this educational cartoon is based upon studies that can be found in any university library, with the possible exception of the Bob Jones University in South Carolina.